like and it's not you can't just go pff, like yeah, yeah. no it's like you gotta go up like an airplane yeah. homie airplane mm. takes off slow you yeah. know what i'm saying but it, you get but there you get there, you yeah. get there. Mm. so um what happened was um my momentum it's once you catch a momentum so i started making them first i went from american stepchild shirts then i busted my own art show because i have a gang of drawings mm. and i started slanging them fuck it and then after that, I made more shirts, and I made some fucking badass shirts, homie. If you go to my page on Flyboy Inc., yeah. go down, a, like, you know, a couple months back. Yeah. That's some sick. All my content is sick, homie. You might get mm. tired of me because <laughs> I've come out on your fucking home screen a lot, <laughs> but it's because, you know, I don't know, homie. I, just, I It's just I post a lot of shit, but I, I try to post good shit. I try not to post fucking mamadas, you know, like. Yeah. But, um. I'm a content creator now. That's what they told me. Yeah, that's <laughs> shit. That's what it is. That's shit. I started busting up the first time yeah. they said that. I said, homie, you're an influencer. And I was like, but how? <laughs> you know? And they're like. Because people watching pay attention. They're like, to homie, you think. And it's true because people send me messages telling me, hey, bro, I got clean because of you, fool. Yeah, like, yeah. They send me. Yeah. Or some fool tell me, like, hey, homie. Like, I'm going through it right now. Like, I don't go to N.A. That's the first thing I tell them. Yeah. Go to NA. Oh, it's because I work construction. Then you're not ready, fool. Yeah. Like, do, come at me when you're ready mm -hmm. to do what I tell you. Don't come yeah. at me with an excuse yeah. after I tell you what to do to get clean. Like, yeah. don't do that. Yeah. So, you want to get clean? The first thing you got to do, homie, is go to NA. I don't care if you're high, if you just use this morning, mm -hmm. whatever. The first step is you got to get to an NA class, homie. Mm -hmm. And if you break down in that room like I did, you ready, homie. I couldn't even fucking say my name, dog, without fucking sobbing. That's yeah. what, real quick, rewind it back real quick. Like, like, what made you, how did you get off the fentanyl? My hyena left me. Mm. That day, she fucking woke me up. <laughs> well, I woke up, and she fucking, she just straight out told me, like, like, I gave you a whole, like, I gave you years, fool, but we had, the last fight we had about it had been, like, a year before, and mm -hmm. I had told her I was going to stop, and I did. But I was still on morphine, so it was easy to go right back to. Yeah. I never got off the morphine. That's okay. the thing. I thought I, w I could still use Control my morphine and not use that. Yeah. But you, I couldn't. Mm. So finally she left me, Holmes, and, and I didn't fight it. I said, you know what, you low knew, key, yeah, knew I knew that I couldn't do yeah. I couldn't sober up with her there because you know, not that she enabled me, but like it's all it was all around us. Her mom, yeah. her, her family, like... It was just weird, bro. I'm not blaming them, but it yeah. was like I was around. There was a lot of fucked up yeah. shit going on that okay. after therapy, you realize. And after you fall out of love with somebody, you realize, like, holy shit. shit. Yeah. Like, you don't see a lot of things when you're in love. Yeah, it's blind, blinded by love. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. you let a lot of shit go because you're like, because ah, you love this person. Yeah. So you're like, ah, you know, whatever. It, it is, is what it is. is. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So it ain't, this time it is what it ain't, homie. Yeah. So now I see shit clearly for what the fuck it is. And it's like, holy fuck. Mm. I was in a whirlpool, homie. Okay. Anyhow, so the day she left me, I went to my brother's pad. And I said, I got to get off this shit. So, yeah, the next day, the, the very next day, I fucking went to N.A. In full fentanyl withdrawal. Yeah. yeah. How, how tough was that? The, the, the well, the thing was, I was still having my morphines. Mm. So, so take the edge off. At least, I mean, I was still like, uh, I was still going through it, but nah, I wasn't in complete fucking mm. flopping because that's yeah. how you get with fentanyl. Now you flop. You see these crackheads that are like, mm -hmm. and they're doing all these jerking <laughs> motions in, yeah. in the corner and shit. Mm. That's because they're in withdrawal. Mm. It's not because they're super high. Because if they were super high, they they'd be slumped up mm. in the bench not kicking it. Off. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. So when you see people jerking like that, it's because they're in withdrawal. Dang. And um, that's how I got. You know, and um, it's hard to do that around family, yeah. especially yeah. if you're in there. Like I, left, I went to my brother's pad, and luckily my mom was in Mexico for a month, so I got to do that shit in a room. So I, was, <laughs> I think I touched every fucking corner in that bitch, <laughs> homie. Yeah. But um, so yeah, I went to NA, homie, and and I sat in there, and it, you know they were like, you know, who are you? And I was like, what's up, man? I said my name's Ahmed, homie, and I, I'm an addict, you know, and I just fucking. It just fucking came out. I was sobbing, bro, for like literally like five minutes. Yeah. I couldn't catch my breath, you know. It just was. It just came out like my yeah. wife had just left me. But like, at that point, you were ready to to make the make the step. I had been ready. Yeah. I had been wanting to get off, bro, for a long time. It's just I had I had got off, but I fell back every time because 
I was scared of the withdrawal, mm-hmm. whatever. So when my lady left me, Holmes, I finally just said, fuck it. And then I called everybody. Like, I, I called my doctor. And I said, hey, doc, check this out. I've been taking fentanyl for the past three years, plus what you give me, Damn. plus Norco's. Like, I straight ratted on myself to my yeah. doctor. And you know. Red flag. Yeah. Well, when you tell your doctor that, they say, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, We're, like, we got to yeah. get you off. Yeah. Yeah. Like, now, there's no choice. You're getting off now, yeah. some way, somehow, because yeah. fentanyl's involved. Mm-hmm. And now, but when you tell your doctor that, a lot of these people don't know, homie, is that when you come to your doctor, and you're addicted to other drugs like that. You, c- they can't help you. Mm. It's you. They won't punish you because you're pleading. Like how I was yeah. ple- I, I was crying to my doctor like I cried in NA. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, Doc, my wife just left me. And fuck it. I'm off the morphine. I'm not blaming you, but I'm just saying like you gotta get me off this shit. Mm. And he's like, Okay, okay, okay. Like chill. And I was like, All right. So I finally calmed down. We broke down my 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 regiment and fucking. I just he I, he he let me he goes we can get trouble like in six months I said hell no take me out of this shit in like two months yeah. so we broke down all the thirties to like fifteens mm-hmm. for like a month then we took the middle one away and off. replaced yeah. it with a coating then we took t- other ones and replaced it with like he we switched it around because mm-hmm. your body gets rid of the morphine because morphine and Norco and oxycontin mm-hmm. and Percocet they're all different yeah. you could be in withdrawal for morphine. And take coding, but it doesn't take away that you need morphine. Mm-hmm. So what they do is they switch around these certain other opioids to take away your your withdrawal. Mm-hmm. You're still gonna feel like shit because there's no avoiding that. Yeah. Like fool, I was on fucking pills for eight years. Yeah. I gotta go through something. Yeah. You're not just gonna be like okay, well, even, even, no. Yeah. <laughs> even even when it's controlled, like how my doctor did me. It still hurt. It's, I had no anti. I was drinking like three monsters a day, and I knew it wasn't healthy mm-hmm. for me, but. I couldn't I couldn't go or do a tattoo without taking a fucking monster, bro, yeah. because, you know, it's like I'm getting out. Like, I feel like shit. Mm-hmm. So I was doing things that I was just thinking, fuck, man, I hope I'm not just replacing one with another. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't. Thank goodness, homie, after like two, two, three months, I finally got off everything. And then that's when, like, I couldn't do none of this shit. Yeah. And, and try to kick a habit. Like, yeah. I needed to focus directly yeah. on the habit first. And, and so I set a plan in motion and I said, okay, first kick the habit, then, you know, get therapy and let's fix what the fuck's going on in your mm-hmm. head because your, your wife just left you. You're sleeping on your brother's couch. Like I had a Silverado. I had a, I have a Harley Davidson, right? And I had a 2002 Silverado, you know, the Mamalonas. Mm-hmm. I'll, my shit was, my shit was dope. Slam. It was mm-hmm. a badass Silverado black one. And um, I crashed that motherfucker coming home from the Pomona Fair. I mm. fell asleep Damn. and I fucking um, slammed into a light pole. Fuck. Fucking creamed it, homie. And then I, li- I ran. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I ran from the scene and fucking people had it on tape because it was like a party going on in the mm. corner and, wow. and people and caught it on tape. Out. Yeah, all the videos came out. So I was like, I couldn't say that it was stolen or yeah, nothing. Yeah. So I just said, fuck it. The next day I called and I was like, yeah, I crashed it, but I had a concussion and I ended up at my house. Right. I don't know. Okay. Anyhow, long story short, um, like all these things, I had all these things going on, you know, crashed my car. It was summer, so I'm on my Harley in fucking 110 degree <laughs> weather. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck. Hot ass hot air. As fuck. But I had no choice. Yeah. Like I had a backpack because I had to carry my shit. Mm-hmm. Like, anyhow, I finally got off, finally cleaned up, and then, you know, fixed my mental health. I was in that. And then I just started fucking, you know, working on my tattoos. And then 